speaker. Next speaker is Professor Ruo Kintai. He is coming from one of the uh, normal universities of China. Normal university is uh, something uh, similar, we would say, teacher's university. So he is coming from a teacher's university and uh, he is professor for education in physics. Mr. Luo is interested very much in international connections and he uh, has had several guests at his university. By the way, it's a beautiful place, it's a beautiful university, it's the most beautiful uh, area of China, really. So he is uh, interested very much in international connections and he has, he has many uh, Western many guests from Western countries in order to learn about Western approach of physics education. We are very much uh, interested to see his approach of uh, physics education, his approach with a completely different cultural background. That's an interesting uh, thing for us. Mr. Ruo uh, is planning to conduct a conference on physics education in Guilin at the Congress next year. And this conference next year in Guilin is up to now favorably, favorably considered by Chile. Now, um, one last word. Uh, in the program, he says his real name is Luo Shinkai. In Chinese, uh, it, it is. Uh, in, in Western countries, we have uh, uh, the, the custom to uh, mix up the names, but his real name is Luo Shinkai. May I take the seat? Very chill with you. Our practicing practice is the situation. Uh, I hope you can understand my Chinese English. Because I cannot speak too fast. Uh, first of all, uh, please let me say a few words about uh, our university and the physics uh, teacher's education and there. You know, this is China and uh, our university is on Guangxi and the media. This is Guangxi, and uh, you can already say this is Shanghai, the Peking, yeah. And the Guilin is uh, located in the north part of Guangxi, a uh, beautiful city, very small. And uh, you see
us is a chance, is an opportunity, and also, I think, is also a challenge. So the question is, we must provide very competitive courses and uh, so on. So to test the opportunity. Fortunately, we did not, we start such kind of innovation uh, very early. So I would like to show you some of our work that we have done since 10 years ago. So this is a teaching group and one of the six, six teaching and the research groups, although the smallest one, but one of them. And we do teaching pedagogical course related to this uh, uh, subject. It's the main part. Before 1994, we have one required course that takes about six percent of the total cost for our students. And of course, with, at that time we think this is not enough, but then how can we change? So it is very difficult to get more requirements, but we have a lot of way. We, since 1994, we offer two optional courses. Optional courses no problem, because uh, there are not so much optional course in our curriculum. So we offer two optional course. That's one is a quality toward experiment. And the other one is, or the first one, is concern about physics education research. And the other one, and the experiment. And since uh, 19, start from 19, 1990, uh, 1996, our university and the Swiss Harvard as well started considering experiment, increase the cost over for our course. So the history has been fixed. So starting from 1999, the, so we, we have three we required costs with uh, nine, nine semester all up in total. And the two optional costs become required because that we have done several years. So the department say, and the rest also, uh, it's okay for them to become a required one. And we have new two uh, optional courses. That's uh, first the learning science and teaching science, the informal way. Another one is new education technology and application education. So, and another concern for our group is collaboration with the uh, practice and face teachers. And because, as I said, the incident training is responsible uh, for a lot of, for a lot of university, by a lot of university. But I think for, for us, it's very important to keep contact and collaboration with practice and teachers in order to improve our program. So we try to find a way to do that. So I think we, we, we think we thought to provide workshops for the short time training for the uh, practicing teacher in the, uh, one of the best ways. So since 98. At night, we offer six times teachers, some school or similar like that. And in this way, we uh, get more friends and uh, close connect, collaboration. And also, we get many good ideas through 
how to improve our program. Uh, but this is uh, our uh, next goal. Not uh, our uh, official but, uh, learning process, but only the result of the process is very important for us. So we have a special concern about this topic. The student learning in the context of laboratory the situation or uh, when they be confronted with the long uh, experience. And we found that this is the uh, area we can get more uh, very important information to how to improve our uh, teaching in the laboratory situation. And the teachers have this program innovation and uh, we are lucky to get our project uh, supported by the Ministry of Education and this is a general and subject related educational course. This is a series, the integration series of practice teachers. And we also do research on this experiment uh, for educational use. This is our favorite talk, and uh, we have been involved in this field for the 10 years. And uh, uh, I'm pleased to be recognized of uh, uh, a kind of extended plan. And uh, but I think as a, as a teacher or teacher's teacher, we should think more uh, about the, uh, this kind of things. So my topic is educational confirmation for the high-tech uh, information technology is uh, very popular, but we found the hand-on experiment is uh, also very popular. Still was popular before. And uh, so why? And uh, second question, what kind of, how we can make a full use, educational use of the hand-on experiment? So, we need more consideration about besides the, the good friends. So, my talk is uh, <coughs> this guideline. And the first, we think about the simplicity. As you know, the simplicity is a basic requirement. A requirement for the experiment in education. We like a simple experiment, <coughs> so that's uh, the reason people prefer good kind of experiment to uh, commercial one, complicated one. And uh, in this, uh, in this aspect, I found. From, from Justin's talk, the game uh, <coughs> Max Mayer's very nice occasion. Yeah. And uh, the first question is there are many simple experiments and uh, very easy to reproduce and very good. And uh, is behind the simple structure, what's the most important for us as a physical teacher? Mm -hmm. And uh, if we look into the simplification process, you put thinking to, to simplify the one to a or experiment, and in this process, we think the most, there are, most importantly, the number and creative thinking, new idea. Otherwise, it is impossible to make any experiment by simpler than the existing one because you, then, if you like to simplify the device, you must think good idea, a new idea. So that's 
my point. When the new idea, creative idea appears, that's possible to make extend simple enough. So in this way, in this, this, in this case, we saw from the process the simple experiment behind that. There are always a new idea, creative thinking. So that's why we are especially appreciative with the value of the education of such kind of experiment. So such first it, it is very clear in this respect, make the experiment cheaper and easy, of course. And also uh, it, because it is simple, students uh, can be uh, more easily to understand the background. So that's very. But more important for us is because they are great the idea behind. So we think this kind of experiment when we do that is a low level language to show the power of the creativity. And uh, it does stimulate students' direct involvement. They have no excuse to avoid it. It is so simple. You must try yourself. So that's the point. And I'd like to show you a few examples for that. And this. You know it very well.
breakfast, get to the eight, <laughs> and the dog, the student and patient, is turn, suddenly turning. So what's inside? The student is saying, this was a very complicated structure inside. It's a, a smart. So maybe some sensor like that. But the structure is very simple. And, but the missing good idea is very good. Use no risk. Well, this location, the location is this way. Well, it's moved to the flash, not, not turning. Because this wheel is a little bit inside than this wheel, so not touch. Not touch is a surface, so it goes straight ahead. But when it gets the edge and the two front ears go down a little bit, this wheel in this direction touch the table and then make the turning. So this is very simple, but we think if, if you cover and ask students to invent, to figure out what's going on. There are many interesting designs of the structure and uh, this. And uh, we think with such kind of uh, small thing to simple toy, uh, experiment, we can add the inter intellectual favor to our classroom, which I think in, in many cases are dominated by a routine, problem solving, videos like that. With that, we think we can add some intellectual favor to that. And also, uh, I often told my students, the future teachers, if you keep your mind thinking good idea, you will have enough time. You will have enough time, not time to do that. Because students often argue with me. Oh, Mr. Uh, Professor, oh, you are uh, idea is very good, but also busy. Has the teacher? How can I find enough time to do that? So many. Manipulation, so many preparation time, so we have no time. But I keep, I keep convincing it's a good idea that save a lot of time. Let me give you another, another example. <coughs> this is a, also. A, Ordinary, looks ordinary cut. And uh, they are all uh, elastic back. And then, uh, elastic three. So, nothing, uh, nothing surprising. But if I put my hand inside and do something, and then you see what's happened. So still the surprise. You just uh, put your hand very quickly and then <laughs> change. So what's inside? This uh, is a very heavy block of iron. I get this from this for university. <laughs> but, uh, but this stick table belongs to me. I chose stick table, uh, table tape, uh, not table, tape. And then uh, this stick. So when I do not move, so this way. But a lot of time I put hand cover to, to turn this not stick. So in this way, so I ask students, how much time do you think I spend to doing that, to prepare that? And I can tell you the secret. I saw a lot of experiments. A lot of experiments in 
conference, and then down by a professor from Israel, that's a better name, and the card uh, is that uh, many uh, uh, yeah, and the job, the job, and the, I am sitting another one, and this car, and is a present from my uh, Japanese friend, Yoji Ida. He came to greeting and they uh, for conference and they uh, leave this as a present for you, for me. <laughs> and uh, I use this card and the uh, second idea is this, that's all. And of course, uh, <laughs> yes. so that's another example.
29% students think physics is a very difficult discipline or subject. And uh, uh, about the, uh, some students say students are very difficult but very interesting. And 9% uh, students think I dislike uh, physics sports. And uh, two, two of the students think I, uh, in Chinese, we, we said, oh, yeah, but the, I have lost part of uh, the best of all, I say because I hate physics. Two. And uh, and uh, then 80% percent I feel fear about this. I, I, when I hear that uh, it's terrible. <laughs> because the uh, concern is a very low score, very bad uh, result of the uh, uh, examination. So, <laughs> this is uh, not very high. <laughs> anyway, so, And uh, this uh, student concerning is the problem solving. That's, that's not the real problem solving, that's the area of uh, all the routine questions like that. And uh, also abstract formula. And this is a typical example of student answer. And uh, this one student. And the other one is <laughs> and this is a rather occasion <coughs> about physicists. And uh, almost all the answers are very positive to physicists. <coughs> and uh, uh, physicists in student mind is a very great figure, something like that. But from student answer, we also find some thing we need to pay attention to. And uh, let me see. This is about student. I think we have a very clear and important message to 
of this teacher about how to improve. So, the good thing is, even for Chinese students, you know, to enhance students' interest in learning things, is you now become a very important part. The teachers, uh, teachers need to have a, a skill how to attract student attention to get them involved clearly. And it is not just copy that. Right? So, the whole. So, for us, we are very often talking with our students about the different way, and one way is to use very good experiment. So the children and the user and the development is our main concern in order to attract students' attention to learn things. Then we give you the other example.
the advantage of this kind of problem is that it looks very complicated, but uh, it concerns very simple <coughs> fundamental physics. And this uh, the idea, the use of infrared sensor, and this is uh, a lens. And so that's uh, the very simple uh, basic physics. And the fork, when it aims and the focus on the sensor, it, the, this signal, uh, if you like, or switch another device and put the water, so make the experiment. So this is a very simple structure, and the facilities with a very interesting how to understand this. Was it constructed as a point or uh, is it for educational use only now? Maybe in the future. <laughs> 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 it would be a suggestion. <laughs> and uh,
You see uh, this? Turn. Now, even you turn to, to tell no problem. And in this case, I ask student why. In the first time, you cannot, no idea. And then I give, give a hint in this way. In order to get information, I do this way. I switch off and then switch on immediately, very quickly. And then, you see, no, no problem. But if I switch off and wait and then switch on, no, we must do it again this way. So I ask why. So, and uh, very difficult to get an answer. So this <coughs> convinced me in order to make student both mind and hand on is a very difficult task. But we we would try because we spend so much money, so much time in laboratory, in teaching, in teaching in laboratory. So, I would like to show you one of uh, our uh, experiment more about this topic, but I think we must uh, follow the regulation. Uh, and it's uh, almost uh, uh, without any questions, so I think it's uh, uh, better to.
questions to the Lord. How much does this province and this fire machine cost? Uh, you mean uh, which part of the province? We managed the turning down. Oh, oh the this one? Manager. Oh. <coughs>
Now, two important uh, announcements. If you want to join the fourth street on uh, the conference dinner on Tuesday evening, Thursday, Thursday evening, fourth street, if necessary, you've got to register for it. You won't uh, get uh, on the boat if you don't have a um, uh, ticket. <laughs> this is absolutely necessary because the people must know how many people come in order to order food and drink. So please, you are requested to... Uh, uh, how is this? Uh, uh, register, please. The last possibility to register for this is today until 1 o'clock. You are getting tickets to enter the boat. Please, if you want to pay your fees, contact please me. You can pay them directly. <laughs> and, uh, and another thing, you can buy the proceedings from the last conference in Ljubljana. Now there is a table, there will be a table in the foyer where you can buy the coffee beside there and there will sit in the Oblak and I will help here and you can buy, see the proceedings and buy them here for 40 miles. Okay, then let me close this session. Thank you very much.
i primi ce l'avevano con il primo non ho capito non ho capito non ho capito